Dr. Rachel Ross, I was taking a nitric oxide booster that has in its first ingredients L-citrulline followed by L-arginine, alpha-ketoglutarate, L-arginine, L-arginine base. That's the boost blend. So that's great. You know, like, as a matter of fact, I've been working with scientists to come up with a blend myself. And honestly, I feel like when it comes to food we buy in the grocery store and supplements, sometimes less is more, right? If it's got 90 zillion different things in it, sometimes one of those things will throw you off or one of those things could actually be bad for you. So that's one thing. She said, I watched some of your sub segments where you talked about hold off on L-arginine and I'm not sure what it can go do to the body, good or bad. So I stopped taking this particular booster heating to your vice. Would you consider this booster blend safe? And then they, she goes on to talk, talk about um, taking Telmosartan, which is an ARB, which is a type of blood pressure medicine. I also saw your segment about certain blood pressure pills that can have an effect on your erectile function. I'm working on losing the required weight, my doctor told me, which she said would lower my hypertension. My question is, um, my question is, I'm on this blood pressure med. Is it okay for this med? Thank you for any advice you can lend me. Now, what I, what I really want to focus on with this question is the L-arginine piece of it. Because um, I think L-arginine can be very helpful for some people. I do believe that L-arginine has a space in nitric oxide booster. But I also believe that it's very clear that if you're over the age of 45, your body is not going to be able to take all of that exogenous, exogenous just means out from coming from outside of the body, it's not going to be able to take all of that exogenous L-arginine and do what we want it to do. And so what I want to do is just kind of show you why, that's, why that happens. So um, here we go here. So... L-arginine is in the body. You, you, we're eating it. You're taking it as a supplement. And as a byproduct of it, so we're using something called nitric oxide synthase. We'll abbreviate it NOS. So NOS is super important in this process. And as we age, our ability, this NOS, starts to decline in its effectiveness each decade of life to the point that when we're about 60, the average person has only about 15% of the capacity to have NOS doing what it's supposed to do, which is to help L-arginine become nit nitric oxide. So what that means then is just like any other situation, if you put too much of the L-arginine there and this NOS is uncoupled or not working, then it cannot do its job to, to turn it into nitric oxide and to turn it into L-citrulline. But worse than that, it will sit around in your body and become urea. Now, you and I both know you may not be a science person, but you know urea doesn't sound like it's going to be a positive thing if it's sitting around there, right? It can uh, create reactive oxygen species, which basically are like free radicals, which damage parts of the body and the blood vessels. And then it creates something which is the main thing that you don't want, which is ADMA. Now, ADMA stands for asymmetric dimethyl arginine. We're just going to call it ADMA. Now, the problem with ADMA is that anytime we see someone with a chronic disease, they have elevated levels of ADMA. We see it in people who have hypertension, diabetes, heart failure, kidney failure. So ADMA is not necessarily anything that we want extra of. We actually already have enough of it. And, and when arginine sits around too much, it can actually become ADMA. Now, too much L extra L-arginine can block nitric oxide synthesis. So basically, the main reason we were taking it to make this magical thing called nitric oxide, it actually, too much of this can actually impair our ability to actually make it. Honestly, I can take people off of some of these supplements who haven't been responding to Viagra, who haven't been responding to anything, we take them off of the supplements and boost their nitric oxide naturally through smoothie recipes, through some of the supplements that we talk about, what have you, and we can get things back on track because not only is it not making the nitric oxide that you want, it can actually sit around and create chaos and confusion and make it harder for your endothelial cells or the lining of your blood vessels to do what they were supposed to do. So then you don't have any nitric oxide. And so then chronic disease sets in. Listen, nitric oxide 
is the reason our blood vessels relax. They are, it's, it's such an important process. So the problem with taking too much L-arginine is not only is, can it sit around and, and not produce the nitric oxide like we want it to, it can actually block the production of nitric oxide. Okay, so, so ultimately at the end of the day, if you are over the age of 45 and not in that fitness space, then you want to boost your nitric oxide levels using dietary nitrates or a supplement that mimics dietary nitrates, right? And, and, and try to repair because nitrates actually focusing on the stuff I talk about in the smoothie recipe book will actually help your body repair the process and, and make your body better able to make this enzyme NOS, which is important in this conversion of nitric oxide, this conversion of L-arginine to nitric oxide. Okay. So I'm hoping that that really helps clear up some of, some of the, the problems with L-arginine. Now, if you are in the fitness space and you are an exercise guru and you're, you're, you know, you're young, you're doing everything right. You know, you've got all these things going for you. I don't think that L-arginine is probably going to be a problem for you, but we have to be mindful of the fact that when we're taking a lot of supplements, if your body already has enough of it and you're flooding your body with it, well, the body then has to decide what to do with it. And if it can't get rid of it and it can't use it in a positive way, oftentimes it uses it in a counterproductive way, right? Okay, so I'm hoping that that helps clear things up a little bit on that space.